My friend Hannah loaned me this book called Moses in the Bulrushes, and I thought it went perfectly with the lessons that we've been talking about. Moses in the Bulrushes. It's got beautiful shiny on the cover. I wish you could see it really close. You could even feel it. Moses in the Bulrushes. I don't know whether you've noticed it, but when your parents have a Bible book, when they wrote the Bible, they didn't put pictures in it. And so sometimes it's hard for kids to remember or to think about what people look like and what things look like during the Bible times. So people like Catherine Sully write books that tell the stories in simpler words. And people like the illustrator, Simone of Sanfilippo, draw these beautiful pictures so that kids can see what things look like during the Bible times. So here's the story, Moses in the Bulrushes. There was a little girl called Miriam who lived in Egypt. Her family were Hebrew slaves. There were lots and lots of Hebrew slaves in Egypt working for the king. One day, the king gave a terrible order. There are enough Hebrews in Egypt. There must be no more baby boys doesn't sound like a very nice king, does he? The king sent soldiers to all the Hebrew villages. If they found any baby boys, they had orders to kill them, to throw them in the river. Miriam's mother had a baby boy. What are we going to do, Miriam asked. Miriam's mother had an idea. She hid the baby in the house and told Miriam to watch over him very, very carefully. Shh, baby brother, shh, be good for mother. But when that baby was three months old, he was way too big and way too noisy to hide in the house anymore. So Miriam's mother found a basket and painted it so that it would not leak. Wrapped up the baby and she put him in a blanket and put him in a basket. When no one was looking, Miriam and her mother carried the basket down to the river and hid it among the bulrushes. Now, I don't know whether you notice, you may not know this, but bulrushes are plants, big, tall, grassy plants that grow by the river. They sometimes have little furry ends on them, and that's why people call them cattails, because they look like cattails. So mother, mother hid baby Moses among the bulrushes. His mother hurried back to the house and left Miriam to look after the baby. All day long, Miriam hid nearby to make sure the baby was safe. Little brother, be good for mother. Then, from her hiding place, Miriam saw some people coming. Ah! I hope it's not soldiers. It was not soldiers. The king's daughter was walking along the riverbank with her servants. She saw something unusual floating in the bulrushes. Can you fetch that for me to see? She asked her servant. The servant brought that little basket to the king's daughter. It floated, just like a little boat. The king's daughter looked inside the basket, and she was amazed. Oh, it's a baby, she said. She lifted that baby up from the basket. And what do you think that baby did? He began to cry. He must be one of the Hebrew babies, said the king's daughter. Poor little thing, are you hungry? Just then, Miriam jumped up from her hiding place. Shall I fetch someone to feed the baby and look after him for you, she asked. Yes, said the king's daughter, that's a great idea. Miriam ran to find her mother and together they hurried back down to the river. Do you know what the king's daughter said? She said, I will pay you money to take this baby and feed him and look after him for me. And then she handed that baby right back to his mother. Miriam and her mother
mother were happy to have him home again. They took him back home and cared for him until he was old enough to go to the palace. The king's daughter was delighted. I will bring him up like my very own son, she smiled, and I will call him Moses. Does that sound familiar? That's the Moses we've been talking about. God was protecting Moses, and the story is very important in the Bible because God protected Moses because he had a very big job for Moses to do when he grew up. And we'll find out more about that big job later. Thank you for listening. <laughs>